There's really four pillars of Blip's business. Um, there is Blip Studios, which we announced a couple of months ago that we were getting more deeply into developing original content, and that's led by Steve Wolf. Uh, there's our technology platform, which has always really been the foundation of Blip, where um, we create tools and services to enable independent content creators um, to manage, distribute, and monetize original web series. Uh, then there is our distribution platform and our audience building capabilities, which you mentioned Yahoo, uh, and we've got a, a number of other uh, distribution agreements along those lines. And then the fourth piece is really uh, revenue and monetization, um, which is our, our ad sales team and our ad technology platform. So those are really kind of the four pillars, pillars of our business. Um, obviously, distribution is deeply important, right? Um, Blip has always believed in being as widely distributed as possible. And so uh, we not only uh, enable content creators to distribute through uh, companies like YouTube and platforms like YouTube, uh, but we also recently announced a distribution deal with Yahoo. Uh, so we are uh, distributing a little over a dozen shows to Yahoo Screen. Uh, and Yahoo has taken 16 of their shows and they're distributing them through Blip. Um, and that's been a really fantastic relationship so far. Uh, in addition to Yahoo, uh, we also several months back launched a new deal with AOL, um, which has been going really, really well. They've been a great partner of ours. Uh, we've got a little over 60 shows that we're distributing through AOL Video now. And uh, that's really driven some, some substantial audience growth for us over the last couple months. So that's been great to see as well. Um, and then of course, you know, we're distributed through pretty much every connected device. Most of the major CE uh, manufacturers uh, distribute book content in addition to, you know, platforms like Roku. Uh, uh, this fall, we're gonna be uh, expanding our distribution and launching uh, on the uh, iOS platform as well as the Xbox platform. So uh, big plans for distribution growth over the next couple months. We're developing a, a suite of new mobile apps. Um, obviously, we think that uh, mobile really is going to drive a lot of future uh, demand for short form episodic content. Um, that, you know, I think a lot of the conversation right now has been around uh, is short form episodic web series disrupting cable television? And I think that the short answer is yes, it is disrupting cable TV. Um, but I don't think it's necessarily doing it in the most obvious way. I don't think that people are necessarily deciding not to sit down on Sunday night and watch Game of Thrones, for example, or Mad Men, and instead they're going to go and watch TV on YouTube. Uh, I think what's happened is that as a culture, um, we've become extremely attached to our mobile devices, our iPhones, our iPads, our Android phones, and it's created demand for new types of entertainment that people are looking for uh, high quality, short form storytelling uh, that is easily accessible in five, 10, 20 minute increments. And so that's really uh, what we focus on and, and we think that there's a huge opportunity to build big audiences uh, really leveraging mobile platforms first and so uh, as a result uh, later this fall we're going to be launching a whole series of new mobile applications for iPhone, iPad, Android and Kindle.